I feel like we're entering a new era now of what I like to call digital biology. So, you know, I think of biology in its most fundamental level as an information processing system, you know, that's trying to resist entropy around it. And I think that's basically what life is. Um, of course, it's a phenomenally complex and emergent information processing system. Uh, and I think that's where AI comes in, just like maths uh, and the maths that I learned in this room was the perfect description language for physics. I think that AI is potentially the perfect description language for biology. Um, it's perfect for dealing with the complexities of the emergent uh, behaviors and interactions that you get in a dynamic system like biology. And so we think of this as a kind of doing science at digital speed. So um, trying to bring uh, the best of what we do in the technology area to the, um, the natural sciences. And my dream one day is to be able to create maybe a kind of virtual cell, a uh, computational cell, perhaps of something very simple like a yeast cell, um, and that you can actually do run experiments in silico on it. And the predictions that you get out of the virtual cell will actually tell you uh, and form your, your real world experiments in the lab. Um, and you can reduce down a lot of the search that's done in the wet lab uh, and actually um, more use the wet lab for validation steps rather than the very expensive um, and slow search process.